Hi everyone and welcome to another car boot haul. I went to the car boot this morning. It was sort of medium sized today. The weather wasn't brilliant. It's a bit cloudy and a little bit of drizzle, but there was still plenty of sellers there. It's not a huge haul, but I'll show you what I picked up. So the first thing I picked up was more of these Winnie the Pooh magnets. I bought another five. It was the same lady I got them from last time. 10p each and someone's selling them on eBay for 4 99 and they're selling, so they should get me about 20, 25 pounds. I picked up a couple of these Guess Who games from a couple of different stalls. One was 10p, one was 20p. They're around 2.99 each on eBay, not huge money. But yeah, not bad considering the price I paid. These Disney glasses were three for a pound. They're quite nice. I don't know if they're vintage. They kind of look a bit vintage. Uh, but three for a pound, they should get me about ten pounds. Then I have a whole lot of media. You'll see lots of Lord of the Rings, um, Star Wars, just for bundling up, Hobbit. Uh, a couple of Primeval series that I just bought cause to make up three for a pound, I think it was. Uh, Inspector Allen Mysteries, that looks quite interesting. It was two pounds and it's not something you see a lot of. That should get me around £10. I paid two. This was 20p. I've mentioned it in bed with Madonna before. Uh, it's quite a rare DVD. I should be able to get nearly £10 for that. Picked up this for £2. Again, a, another obscure TV series. Murder Most Horrid. It's BBC. It might be on Britbox. I don't know. Um, I don't have BritBox, but it's an obscure DVD, so I picked that up for £2. I haven't researched that one, it's probably the only one I haven't done. Uh, Bread Grills, that was 50p, I don't know how much that goes for. Another one of these, I picked this up yesterday at the charity shop. I got another one, that was three for a pound. Next is this, it's very uh, unusual, 50 pence. A Cartoon Network Powerpuff Girls canvas bag. No idea on the date, probably early 2000s. Tried researching it, I couldn't find any the same on eBay, so I've no idea what I can sell that for, but it's quite a nice object. Um, I'm sure there's Powerpuff Girls fans out there. Next we have a Harry Potter puzzle. Uh, this was a pound. There's not a lot of money in this one. Uh, used ones are going for about 7 99 on eBay. Uh, but it's quite a nice puzzle. This one is Disney, Catching Fireflies, Winnie the Pooh, £1.50. Uh, one sold recently for £10.50, including postage, so I'm, I hope for about £12.99 on that. And um, we've got a vintage Cluedo. She said it was all there, um, I haven't checked it yet. This should get me around between 15 and 20 if it's all complete. Next, another board game. It's Star Wars Operation, uh, like BB-8 version. Um, I've never seen this before, so when it was two pounds, I picked it up because it's Star Wars and something unusual. I have seen people on eBay selling the bits separately, and they are selling separately, which is unusual for a modern game. But yeah, it seems to sell well even with the bits. I think it's all there. I haven't double checked, um, but it looked like there was all the bits in there. Sold on this uh, about twelve ninety nine with postage. Uh, but yeah, it's quite a nice thing that is. Next, another one of these. I uh, don't know if I've shown you these. I picked up a couple off eBay already uh, that are parts and it's not complete. This one looks like it is complete. It has got all the tokens in it. Um, if it is complete, they can go between 20 and 25 pounds. And I paid two pounds for it. And I was quite shocked that I said two pounds. I thought they were gonna ask a lot more for it, but yeah, two pounds for that. Next we have a hardback book of episode 2, Attack of the Clones. I don't have this in my collection. I have all the others in hardback, except for Revenge of the Sith and this one. So I I might keep that for myself, that was only a pound. Again a pound, this was a snowman book and CD set. So it's got a CD in, I presume it's the music. Or maybe it's a read-along book. Yeah, for a pound. That's probably my fail of the day. It's only worth about 2 99 
Next, I was happy to see this. Uh, if you know me, I'm a Cluedo fan. It's a 1990s Cluedo puzzle. They released quite a, like a series of these back in the 90s. This is 1994. I did used to have some of these and it was a pound, which I was happy about. And when I opened it up, it was actually sealed inside. The actual puzzle pieces are sealed. So it's never been used, which is absolutely amazing for a puzzle, because it means that I have to count it. <laughs> so yeah, for a pound, I was over the moon to find that. It should get me about ten pounds. Uh, I picked this up for a pound. It's a Hasbro Battleship game. I don't think there's much age to it. It's only worth probably twelve ninety nine used. I uh, haven't checked the bits, but it looked like it was all there. But I will have to check the bits quite carefully on that. And next there was a lady, I bought all these for £2, uh, three packs of Top Trumps, I think this one's actually sealed, so that's nice. Um, and the Narnia ones, they're quite nice, um, pictures and stuff in those, I used to have that set. And I also picked up three of these, these are character building, character building, they did, it's like a Lego knockoff, they did a Doctor Who range about ten years ago, around the Matt Smith era. And they also brought out these HM Armed Forces at the same time. And these do still sell. And they should get about... Well, someone's selling them for 2 99 each on eBay. They're not selling. So maybe two to £2.50 each. Um, but for a pound, basically, I bought those for. I should get something back for them. The top trumps, I don't know. I might just hold on to these and make a big bundle. Um, I don't think they sell well individually without doing research. Um, I'm not sure about the Hello Kitty ones. Um, but I don't think Moshi's Monsters would sell on its own. Nani ones again, it's not a huge franchise so they might not sell on their own. It might just be bundle fodder for those. Next is this mug. I was really happy to see this. It was my 50p table. Um, it's Alton Towers Nemesis Ride mug. Now, I'm sure many, many months ago, maybe even a year ago, I saw someone on YouTube selling one of these. Um, probably not the same style. I can't find this style on eBay. There's other styles available, but they do sell for quite a lot of money, um, usually about 15 to 20. Next, there was a stall, and I found four James Bond shell promotional release cars from different movies. The James Bond franchise. I don't think these are very old. Yeah, from 2008 they are. Um, solds on them, they go for about £5 a car, so I might just bundle them up for £20. Um, but we paid pound each for those. Uh, next I found this Fantastic Beast Niffler game. I've never seen this before, so it was only a pound, so I picked it up. Hopefully it's all there. Um, that goes for about 8 to 10 used. And the final pickup this week is this box of Duplo. Oh, this was the last thing I bought. I wasn't going to pay £5 for it because the other week I bought another box of £5 and it was bigger than this. But when I started looking through it, it's got animals in it and figures. They're the pieces that sell really well. Um, so I think my £5 is safe. Um, it should get me a, probably about 20 maybe 25 depending how I split it up. So yeah that's my haul for this week. Not a huge haul compared to other weeks. There just didn't seem to be much there to buy this week and um, mostly traders and I don't usually pick up many much from traders unfortunately. It's normally the family sort of sellers that I do best from. So thanks for watching everyone. Please subscribe to my channel to see my future videos and I'll see you soon. Take care, bye.